Was that badass or what, homie? We take them in the back test fire room to shoot just to give them a feel for what it's going to feel like to actually fire a full flash plane. Just so they're not jumpy and that first burst of fire and everything, they flip out or drop the gun. Yeah, man. Apparently. Wow. Thank you. All the actors today seem very, very comfortable with firearms. I had the sawed off shotgun with the pop handle, which I really like because if he had a bagger on the side of his bag, it'd be pretty cool for access to pop over the bar and fire a shot or two and maybe tell people not to text and drive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I thought it was a great opportunity. Oh, man. I picked a, uh, I think it was a, a, a nine millimeter. I wanted something light that I could put behind my pants because I know that we're going to be carrying them a lot. I didn't want to grab this cool, big, heavy gun and then later be like, this is hurting my back. That's clear. Uh, you know what? The same gun I had for the past seven seasons, man. I'm going to use my 45, faithful 45. That's my favorite gun of choice, you know? And, and it matches my boots, so it's really cool, you know? These are gold, brother. These are gold. Oh, no. You have visuals of us learning motorcycle riding? Oh, man. You got to take that stuff out. No more stalling. I look, I, I feel like I'm pretty good on it now. Oh, you're going to show the piece where I almost run into the truck? Oh, my. When are we going to learn? Motorcycle show. Love it. If the bike starts slipping and I start, like, sliding all over the place, don't panic. I actually crashed on a Vespa when I was like 13, so I'd never ridden before this. Oh, Jesus. Ow. People ask me uh, what one of the most memorable, funny things I ever saw on set was on Mines MC. And well, I remember we came to a complete stop and we all had to get off the bikes, and Antonio tripped over a pylon cone. And he went flying, and I just remember sitting there in my full face going like, hmm, you had glasses and you were wearing a lid. You had all this vision and room to see things, but yet you trip over a cone. And, and it was just ironic how life sometimes plays itself out. 